Well, school's out for summer, so this is a good chance to check in with the Norfolk Tides, who beat Durham tonight 4-2. to two. Let's bring in Brian Parsons, who spent this afternoon with Tides manager Ron Johnson. Holding Yanish at first base, he got that one. While the Orioles are riding high in the American League, the Tides have struggled in the standings this season. But there is hope on the farm. As an overall record, we may not have the record we had last year, but we have pieces down here. Some of those pieces could very well play a part for the O's, like Christian Walker, the former first baseman turned left fielder. Early in the season, it was uh, I would direct most of my focus during the ball game to left field to be watching, you know, his setups, his drop steps, his reads, his routes, things of that nature. And uh, well, there's no doubt in my mind he's going to make himself a, a very serviceable left fielder. Taking over at first base for the Tides, 24-year-old Trey Mancini. Ron Johnson says he has the tools at the plate and on defense. What's really interesting for him is I think we all believe in the organization that he's got a chance to be a productive bat at the major league level. I have been more actually surprised with how good a defensive first baseman he is. Because for the Baltimore Orioles, as you know, if you listen to the Buck Show, Walter, we're looking for defense. Or obviously looking for home runs too, but we look for defense. If you can't play defense, then you usually can't play for Buck. Then there's 25-year-old Mike Yastrzemski, the grandson of Hall of Famer Carl Yastrzemski. He made his AAA debut this season. But he's been a pretty consistent performer since the day he joined the ball club. So, I mean, he's, he's kind of exciting to watch. He's played all three outfield positions. He plays all three well. Um, he can run a little bit. He can do some things from the left side of the plate. So uh, I try to hold back... Uh, <clears throat> getting too giddy about guys because, you know, this is his first taste of AAA baseball, but up to this point, he's done a very nice job. Throw in Daryl Alvarez and catcher Audrey Perez, who is in contention for a batting title. The Tides have a core of young players that could have an impact on the big league club if called upon. What are we here to do? We're here to win the American League East in the big leagues. So if we can help, that's what we're here to do. In Norfolk, Brian Parsons for the Sports Wrap.